For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Top 4, 11-3, BYU, the Cougs scoring in double figures for the third straight game and fourth time in five games. 13-8 at Santa Clara, 5-4 at Santa Clara, then the big loss to Utah where they scored 14. Then 14-8 last night, 11-3 so far tonight, and Bryce Robinson had 0-2 to Dallas Callahan as we come back in in the top of the fourth. 11-3 Cougs, and Roby ahead of Callahan, no balls and two strikes. We are through three complete. We'll get you our big O tires on the rubber report, a look at both teams' pitching numbers through three. Bryce Robinson through three has given up seven hits, three runs, all of them earned, no strikeouts, no walks. One hit batsman, 47, and now 50 pitches thrown. And 1-2 two goes to 2-2 two and two outside. For Greensboro, two pitchers combining to go three, giving up 11 hits, 11 runs, all of them earned. Two strikeouts, two walks, one wild pitch, and 88 pitches thrown. That's Big O Tires on the rubber. Presented by Big O Tires, the team you trust. Fouled out of play by Callahan down the third baseline. 2-2. Two and two. It is cool. It is drizzly. And the precip may be with us for a while. The forecast is for light rain throughout the evening hours. And despite the uh, difficult weather situations all spring, BYU's drawn well. It's a grounder to Chad Call. Easily handles, guns over low, but a nice pick by Wilk at first. And Callahan grounds out 6-3 for the first out on the top of the fourth. And the weather's been anything but optimal this spring, yet in 14 dates, BYU averaging nearly 1,300 fans per game. And it's another night to challenge the fan in the stands. Cool and wet, it feels like in the low 40s right now with the rain. Bradley Bott and a nice catch on the warning track. Last inning, takes strike one from Bryce Robison. So Roby just threw his 54th pitch. He's in his fourth inning of work with an eight-run lead. That's in the dirt. It will get scuffed up and wet, and so they'll change the ball and reset to Roby. One ball, one strike, one out, base is clear. Bradley Bott grounded out to first base in the third. Now he'll ground out, well, they'll say foul. Handling it was Parker Goff, who makes a tag of Bott at home plate, and AC's out. Hit the batter. Or was that, was that just a fair ball? And he didn't run. So Goff had to know what was going on there. It looked like a foul ball off home plate, but no, it was actually in fair territory. And once Goff scooped it up, he just tagged out. Bradley Bott and the umpire at home made the call. So Goff knew what was up, but the batter stayed in the batter's box. It goes as a ground out unassisted to the catcher. And two gone here in the top of the fourth. Top of the order up now in Daniel Serta. Opposite field line drive. Sapiti makes the catch, sliding to the ground on a dipping, swerving line drive to right. Ryan Sapiti with a nice play. And for UNC Greensboro, three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on. We go to the bottom of the fourth. BYU an 11 to 3 lead. Nice plays by Goff a moment ago. And Sapiti in right field. The Cougs lead big on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Hi, it's Elaine. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU Baseball brought to you by Bam Bam's Barbecue. Bringing you authentic Central Texas barbecue. Try their tender brisket or mouth-watering pulled pork. Bam Bam's Barbecue. Located just north of BYU's campus, Bam Bam's Barbecue. Proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. Cole Gamble leads off the BYU fourth. And the Cougars cruising to an 11-3 lead. It'll be grounded foul down the first baseline. Cole has flown out to left field twice tonight, but he comes in on a nine-game hit streak. All the other long hit or reach base streaks have been extended already tonight by a multiplicity of BYU players. A swing and a miss for Cole as Price King went off speed. King stays on the hill. For the Spartans, there was a pitcher up a moment ago. Right now it's quiet in the pen, the 0-2. And Cole Gamble in the air to left, left fielder to the track, and then plays it off the base of the wall. Cole Gamble extends his fifth streak with a stand-up double. And so for Cole, that's hits in 10 games in a row. The Cougs have two players on double-digit hit streaks right now. Cole at 10 and Austin Deming at 11 games in a row. Cole Gamble into second with a stand-up leadoff double hit number 12 on the night. And the Cougs are just banging around Price King tonight. 
in relief of the starter, Luke Thomas. King has gone one and a third, has given up seven hits, five runs, all earned. And the Spartans so show no sign of, of relieving him. Ryan Sapiti with two solo home runs. Can he make it three for three? The 0-1 to Ryan. And he, oh, just got under it. Center field. Five yards shy of the track. Will make the catch. Cole tags. Gamble going second to third with one out. And a sack fly in play now for Cooper Vest as Sapiti is out for the first time tonight. We're in the bottom of the fourth. He flies out to center after home runs in his first and second plate appearances. Cole Gamble with a double to lead off the fourth. Sapiti flies out. And Cooper Vest, who's now two for two tonight with a run scored, bats with Gamble at third as Gamble tagged on the fly out by Sapiti. So one gone, one on, and BYU in decent shape to score a 12th run. And they do right now. Base it up the middle. Cooper Vest is three for three. Jogging home is Cole Gamble. BYU's runs leader scores for the 39th time this year. And BYU scores for the 12th time tonight. 12-3 Cougs. And it's... Uh, it's no disrespect, but it's 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 a batting practice feel right now. Everyone's getting good swings. Price King is not a hard thrower, and the Cougs are teeing him up right now. Cooper Vest, three for three now, with a single, a double, and a single. That's an RBI single for Coop. And Jacob Wilk on a two for two night and a five for six series will now bat. And that's ball one to Wilk. So Coop the RBI, and Cooper Vest. Makes a habit of bringing home runs. A swing and a miss from Jacob Wilk. Cole Gamble scoring, by the way, on the best RBI single. Came home from third. Coop now 26 RBI on the year. Two and one. Ball low and away. Those 26 RBI are third to Cole Gamble on the year. Second at 2 1 goes to 2 and 2 as Jacob fouls out of play. RBI leader Austin Deming with 42, including four tonight. Then you got Gamble at 27, and now Cooper Vest at 26. And Coop's on first with Jacob Wilk in the box 2 2. One gone, and that's in tight for ball three. Jacob Wilk is BYU's walks leader on the year. And there's a ball away from taking his base. 12-3 BYU and no one up in the Spartans' bullpen. That's a foul tip off the catcher's mask and to the screen. Count stays 3-2. and two. Jacob Wilk with hits in 9 of his last 10. Has reached in 11 straight games, including tonight, with single in the second and a run scored. A double in the third and a run scored. And that was an RBI double for Jacob in the third inning. So he's 2-2 two for two tonight. 3-2. One out, one on. Kick and fire from King. And a swing and a miss, and Wilk is down on strikes. The third BYU batter to strike out tonight. Interestingly, in a game BYU leads 12-3, to three, Bryce Robinson has no strikeouts. He also has no bases on balls. So, he's in very good shape. As are the Cougs on the scoreboard. 12-3, Jacob Wilk down on strikes. Chad Call gets it down on the right field corner. Extra bases for Chad Call. Rounding second is Vest. Rounding third is Vest. The throw will not come home. It's bobbled in short right field. Scoring from first is Vest with BYU's 13th run. It's an RBI double for Chad Call. Everybody hitting. Everybody driving home runs. The Cougs already a double-digit lead here in the bottom of the fourth. It's a third straight crooked number inning for BYU. The Cougs have scored in all four innings tonight. One in the first, five in the second, five in the third, two in the fourth. Chad Call, RBI double. And Cooper Vest coming all the way around from first to score. Run number 13. And for Chad Call, RBI number 14 on the year. And still nothing happening in the Spartans' bullpen. And that is striped into the left field corner. Chad Call will come around to score. It's back-to-back doubles. Parker Goff with a stand-up two-bagger. 14-3 BYU. And King is just getting knocked around. 
14 to 3 Cougs. Call scores on the golf double. And for Parker, that's his second RBI of the night. BYU an 11 run lead, and the Cougs have scored 14 runs in three consecutive games. 14 on Tuesday, 14 on Thursday, 14 on Friday, and we're still well early in this one. We're only through three and two thirds. And now, now they put somebody in the pen. Top of the order. Ozzie Pratt has batted in the first, second, third, and now fourth innings. BYU 14 runs on 15 hits. The 1-0 goes to 1-1 one one as Ozzie fouls it. Hot shot into the Greensboro dugout. And the Cougs getting three RBI from the six, eight, and nine hitters here in the fourth inning. And the hits and runs and RBIs are coming from all over the order tonight. 1-1 one and one goes to 2-1 and one as King loses it low and away. Price King in two innings has given up 10 hits, 8 runs, all of them earned. One strikeout. He's about to throw his 60th pitch as Ozzie Pratt fouls it out of play down the third baseline. 2-2 two two the count, 2 out and 1 on. The 1 on is Goff at 2nd. All nine players in the batting order have at least one hit tonight. And we're still not even through four innings. That's lifted into short left field. Kennedy Jones in a late break and makes the catch. Made it interesting, but the inning is over. BYU scores three more runs on four hits. There were no errors. And there was no one. There was one left on. Goff on second. We go to the top of the fifth. 14-3, BYU leading it on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. BYU with a 14-3 lead on the UNC Greensboro Spartans. BYU scoring double digits for the ninth time this year. They're 6-2 when they score 10 or more, and they're at 14 and counting. Top of the fifth, we're almost halfway home. Kennedy Jones leads things off for the Spartans. Takes strike one. You know, you'll sometimes see everyone in a batting order have at least one hit. Hot shot past the diving glove of Luke Anderson. And it'll roll all the way to the wall in right center. And Kennedy Jones will hold at second. So a leadoff double as Cole Gamble gets it into third. So Jones, no thoughts of extending it. It's a leadoff double for Jones. So, yeah, everyone with a hit. In a batting order, you see that, but do you see it through four innings? Through only four innings of play, Pratt with a hit, Anderson a hit, Deming two hits, Gamble a hit, Sapiti two hits, Vest three hits, Wilk two hits, Call a hit, and Goff two hits. So the seven, eight, nine hitters have five hits. Five of BYU's 15. It's really coming from all over. Equal opportunity sluggers tonight are the Kooks, and that's Duck for ball one to Jezak Budzik. One ball, one strike to Budzik. Lead-off double for Jones to lead off the Greensboro fifth. A 14-3 BYU. And that's hit in the air to the power alley and left. The outfielders will watch it go into the pines. Two-run shot to make it 14-5. Zach Budzik, after an 0-for-2 start to his night, goes 1-for-3 with a two-run home run to left center. And the balls are leaving the yard tonight. BYU with four home runs, four Zions Bank home runs. That's the first dinger of the night for the Spartans. Zach Budzik goes yard. It's a 14-5 ball game. So Budzik with his third home run of the season. Scores Kennedy Jones from second. He had a leadoff double. It's now a nine-run ball game. Batting is Dosi Jonas, right-handed hitter. Pops the leather low for ball one from Bryce Robinson. Action in the BYU bullpen now in the top of the fifth. Bryce Robinson's gone all the way for BYU. And that'll be driven to left. That's a no-doubter. That will be over the scoreboard in left field. Solo shot, Dosi Jonas, his second home run of the series. He is now six for seven in the series. And he's a triple away from the cycle tonight. Single double home run for Jonas. Oh, brother. 
and 14 to 6. It's an eight-run ball game. Dosey Jonas back-to-back jacks for the Spartans. Solo home run after a two-run shot from Budzik. This game isn't quite in the you know dangerous or in- interesting category, but things have gotten offensive suddenly for the Spartans. First three batters reach here in the fifth. A double by Jones, a two-run home run by Budzik, and a solo home run from Jonas. Dosey with a dose of power to left field over the scoreboard and left. His second home run of this series. Three-run shot last night, solo home run tonight. And the Spartans have scored three without BYU recording it out. So on any other night, you might say Bryce Robinson's laboring a bit. Six runs, ten hits, but he's got a huge lead to work with. Called strike, fastball at 88 from Roby on Luke Jenkins. The Spartans score three and still no one out here at the top of the fifth. 14-6 to six is our score. That's two and one, ball low in the dirt. We've seen 25 combined hits, and we're not yet through five innings. The 1-1. One, one. That's away for ball two. Kennedy Jones, leadoff double. Zach Budzik bringing him home with the two-run shot. And then Jonas with a mammoth blast to left. And three score without an out. 3-1 the count. BYU has pitchers up. Jake Porter and Carter Smith both getting warm on this brisk night. The 3-1 from Roby. The wind and deal. And that will be backhanded but off the glove of Anderson at second. It'll go into center field and another batter reaches. Luke Jenkins is the fourth straight batter to reach. And that'll be a single. Hot shot. Luke gave it a stab on the backhand but it bounced off the heel of the leather and into center field. So G.C. Jarman will now bat. Back-to-back lefty bats for head coach Billy Godwin. It's a 14-6 ball game. BYU's lead down to eight. Still no one out. And the first four reach here for the Spartans in the fifth. Kick and fire from Roby. And that will get down into left center. And that may go to the wall. It will. Cooper Best will track it down. Rounding third is Jenkins. The relay from Call. No throw to home. It's a double. And a fifth straight batter to reach for UNC Greensboro here in the top of the fifth. The fourth run scores. Jenkins all the way from first. Jarman with a double and an RBI double at that. Scoring Jenkins. It's now 14 to 7. Seven runs on 12 hits for the Spartans. BYU 14 runs, 15 hits. Four have scored here in the fifth and still no one out. And that's a line in front of Cooper Vest in left. The throw will come in. Runners on the corners. Six straight hits for Greensboro as Mitchell Smith tees off on Bryce Robinson. And so Jarman will hold that third. Runners on the corners now. And still no one out. Four runs across. 14-7 is our new score. And now things are getting interesting. A double. A home run. A home run. For the first three batters. Jenkins then singled. A double for Jarman. A single for Smith. Six straight reach. Dallas Callahan. Another lefty bat steps in. First and third, but no one out. And that's a 55-footer. It bounces short of the catcher. Now they've got Jarman in a rundown as he was trying to come home. The throw home. Goff will tag out. Jenkins, or Jarman, as the Spartans leave a run on the base pass just as they were rallying. That was a 55-footer bouncing off of Goff and breaking on the play was Jarman. He was caught in a rundown. And ultimately is out on a tag by Goff off the assist from Deming in the rundown. Smith, meantime, advancing to second during the rundown. And now it's a runner on second for Callahan. Callahan hits that in the air to center field. Cole Gamble near the warning track makes the catch. Tagging and going second to third is Smith. But now it's two gone here in the top of the fifth. So UNC Greensboro running itself out of even an even bigger inning with Jarman getting hung up between third and home. Four runs have scored, but the Spartans will wish they would have had more. Here in the fifth, Smith on third. He's the only runner on base now for Bradley Bott. Callahan flies out to Gamble, advancing 
is Smith on the tag. Grounder to Anderson. He'll gobble up, fire over to Wilk, and that'll do it. So, UNC Greensboro scores four in the fifth on six hits. There were no errors, and one was left on. We go bottom five. We're halfway home. 14-7. Cougs lead it on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. We are halfway home here at Miller Park through four and a half. It is 14-7. BYU leading UNC Greensboro, a new pitcher. For the Spartans is Caleb Cozart making his ninth appearance. He started five games on the year. Has gone 22 innings, giving up 30 hits, 21 runs, 18 of them earned. Struck out 17, walked 12. 0-2 record, a 7.36 ERA. BYU 14 and Greensboro 7. BYU scored 14 runs in three consecutive games, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Last time that BYU scored 14 or more in three consecutive games... It happened against Niagara here at Miller Park in 2016 when the Cougars actually scored 14 or more in four in a row. They won games 14 to 1, 14 10, 14 to 2, and 15 to 3. Thank you to BYU Baseball Communications Director Duff Tittle for the research on that. Cougs have it rolling. And Greensboro with four in the fifth should have had more maybe, but for a rundown resulting in a throw out of G.C. Jarman between third and home as he took off unwisely on a wild pitch that was blocked by Parker Goff, but he saw the pitch go so short and took off and was hung up. Here we go. Bottom five and leading off is Luke Anderson. Anderson hammers that to center. That will get down on the warning track. Extra bases. It'll be a stand-up double for Luke and Luke Anderson. With now back-to-back hits and consecutive plate appearances. Two-run home run in the third and a leadoff double here in the fifth after a strikeout and a walk to begin his night. So Luke is now 2-4-3 with two runs and three RBI and stands at second with a leadoff double. Hit number 16 on the night for BYU. Luke Anderson was extended his hit streak to eight games tonight. He's in scoring position for Austin Deming, and who's not hitting it well, but everybody is here tonight. Deming on a two-for-three night. Solo home run in the first. Bases clearing double. Three RBI in the second and a pop-up to second base in the third. Two for three with a run and four RBI. 42 runs batted in on the year for BYU's RBI leader. The 1-0 goes to 2-0 from Cozart, the right-hander, relieving Price King. King tonight went two and a third, gave up ten hits, eight runs, all of them earned. He was hung out a little bit. 2-0. And Deming will foul that to the backstop. And reset on a 2-1 count. Austin Deming leading BYU in batting average, slugging percentage, on-base percentage, RBI, home runs, total bases. Home run number 11 tonight for Dem. The 2-1. Breaking ball low. 3-1. and one. Caleb Cozart. Fastball slider change. Fastball topping out around 90 when he goes to it. The 3-1. Glance back at second. Fastball down the heart. And Deming will drill that. And that will be out of here. Two-run home run for Austin Deming. Number 12 on the year. Number two on the night. It's another Zions Bank home run. RBIs 5 and 6 for Austin Deming. 16-7. The Cougs increase their lead. It's a hit parade in Provo, and the Cougs make it a nine-run lead on Austin Deming's second home run of the night. 16-7. Luke Anderson scores from second. And the first two batters reach here in the fifth with a double and a home run. Now uh, Trent Pratt's out to chat with the home plate umpire about something. I'm not sure what. Austin Deming deep to left center. For the second time tonight. And now Cole Gamble on a one for three night. Doubled and scored in the fourth after flying out to left in the first and the second innings. 16 runs on 17 hits. BYU's previous season high was 18 hits. And that came just last night against this Greensboro team. And they're fixing to break that record or season record tonight. And that's in tight on Cole. Turns away from ball one. High and tight. 85 from Caleb Cozart. 
So Luke Anderson leadoff double scores on the Austin Deming two-run home run. That'll be well outside. Stepping back and away on 2-0 and o is Cole Gamble. BYU putting up crazy numbers here for the last couple of weeks. 14 or more in all three games so far this week. 16-7 to seven is our score and three straight balls to Gamble from Caleb Cozart. And four straight balls. Cole will take his base. His first walk tonight. And the first three batters reach here in the fifth. Double by Anderson. Home run by Deming. Bringing home Luke. And now Gamble at first on a walk. And Sapiti with two home runs. Two solo home runs in the second and third inning. We'll bat now in the fifth after a fly out to center in the fourth. So two for three for Ryan Sapiti tonight. Right-handed bat with a right-hander on the hill. Cole Gamble on first. Sapiti will lace that base hit through left. And first and second. Four straight batters reach here in the fifth. And that ties the BYU season high for hits at 18. And we're only halfway through. Now keep in mind Greensboro has had a game where they allowed 28 runs. That was a season high allowed. They also had a game where they allowed 23 hits. That's a season high. And BYU may break the 23 tonight. Cooper Vest on a three-for-three three night. Single, double, and single. His last single was an RBI base hit. Caleb Cozart on the hill. Fastball 86-90. to 90. Slider 79-82. to 82. And a change somewhat faster. 80-83. to 83. That's his three-pitch mix. The 1-0. The vest. BYU's gone double, home run, walk, and single in the first four batters. Still no one out here in the bottom of the fifth, and BYU scored in every inning so far tonight. One in the first, five in the second, five in the third, three in the fourth, two in the fifth. 16 to 7 is our score. And that'll be off the glove of the second baseman up the middle. A deflected base hit to center. Coming around third is Gamble. Going to third is Sapiti. The Cougs make it 17-7. Cooper Vest is 4 for 4 tonight. And 19 hits is the new season high for BYU. 18 last night, 19 tonight. UNC Greensboro may never come back to the Mountain Time Zone ever again. Not sure how close they'll get to Utah in the future. This has been difficult, to say the least, for the visitors from North Carolina. They'd only played their second night game of the year last night. Lost it to go 0-2 at night. And they're fixing to be 0-3 after tonight. 17-7 Cougs. First and third now. Vest on first. Sapiti on third. Gamble had already scored. So the Cougs a 10-run lead. Jacob Wilk now batting on a 2-for-3 night. Single, double, and strikeout for Jacob. Still no one out. The first six have reached... First five, beg your pardon, have reached here in the bottom of the fifth. Call strike on Jacob. Sapiti on third. Vest on first. Corners with no one out. 0-2 to Jacob. That'll be a opposite field slap to right. Scoring is Sapiti. Another hit for Jacob. He's having a great series. First and second, 18-7. Cougs now lead it. RBI single to right. For Jacob Wilk. And scoring is Sapiti from third. And my scorebook is just blue circles everywhere. For every RBI and run scored, you get a circle. And I'm uh, almost circled out in the bottom of the fifth here. Vest goes to second. Wilk on first. Sapiti scores 18 to 7. BYU leads it. And BYU's 18 runs. New season high. The previous high was 15 against UVU in San Francisco. They've surpassed that by three, and the total continues to grow. 20 hits for BYU. New season high. And counting. The 0-1. Chad Call now batting as we get back in the batting order and a 1-1 count. It's been a four-run fifth for BYU. Two RBI from Deming, RBIs from Vest and Wilk. The Cougs have four consecutive crooked number innings. That'll be fouled back out of play. 1-2, the count to Chad Call. Every BYU player has either scored a run or driven in a run, except for Ozzie Pratt. 
Does have a hit, though. Ozzie's one for four, but is the only player not to score or drive one in tonight. But he may get his chance here soon enough. Before the pinch hitters come in, that is. We could see a lot of those tonight. The 1-2 is down and in and gets away, but is tracked down by the catcher, Callahan. And holding it second is Vest. Holding it first is Wilk. BYU 18 runs on 20 hits. 20 hits through four innings because there's no outs yet here in the fifth. So through officially four complete innings, the Kooks have 20 hits. At the current pace, we're talking record territory for BYU for hits in a game, and Duff Tittle may soon be that on that research project. Seven runs on 13 hits for Greensboro. Normally good, but BYU 18 runs on 20 with no one out in the bottom of the fifth. It is 18-7 Kooks. Chad Call in a 3-2 count, by the way. We're back into a full count. First and second, no one out. Off the fist, slow nubber to short. Shortstop handles and fires and gets call at first. Runners advance. So calls the first out after one, two, three, four, five, six consecutive batters reach to open the fifth. Chad Call on the 6 3 slow roller. Brings up Parker Goff as runners go to third and second. Vest to third, Wilk to second. On the 6 3 ground out. Parker Goff tonight. A base on balls with a run scored, an RBI single, and an RBI double on his two-for-two night with two runs and two RBI. And he's the nine-hole hitter. And that really is the uh, the calling card for this BYU offense right now is balance up and down the order, everyone contributing. One ball, no strikes, one out, two on. And again, the Cougs lead by 11, 18-7. Season highs in runs and hits, and we are still through four and a third innings is all. And that's inside belt buckle brusher on Parker Goff for ball two. Parker in the series is five for seven with three runs and four RBI. And that's your nine hole hitter now. Parker really doing good things in turning the order for Trent Pratt from the nine to the one spot as Ozzie Pratt is on deck at the top of the order. And again, Ozzie's looking to join the uh, the run scoring and run driving in party. He's the only guy without a runner in RBI tonight. But everyone in Trent Pratt's batting order has at least one hit. And six of the nine have multiple hits. Anderson, two hits. Deming, three hits. Sapiti three hits. Vest, four hits. Wilk, three hits. And Goff, two hits. Singletons for Call and Pratt. And everyone but Pratt has scored multiple runs on this night, and it's a mound visit to Caleb Kozart. And a pitching change for the Spartans. We'll take it, and we'll take a 60-second break to set up the new UNC Greensboro pitcher. 18-7 Cougs on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Burger Supreme for being tonight's game sponsor and thank them for being an important part of our team. Burger Supreme, Provo's favorite spot for fresh, flavorful, and fantastic food. Fantastic hitting from BYU. 18-7 is our BYU lead over UNC Greensboro, bottom five. The Spartans scored four in the top of the inning. BYU answering with four in the bottom of the inning. For BYU tonight, every batter in the every hitter in the batting order has at least one hit. But not only that, six of nine have multiple hits. Eight of nine have scored multiple runs. Six of nine have multiple RBI. Up and down the order, everyone producing. 18 to 7 Cougs. New pitcher for the Spartans is Grant Acock. He's the fourth pitcher for the visitors from Greensboro tonight, making his 11th appearance. He has two starts on the year. Has gone 15 and two-thirds, giving up 23 hits, 23 runs, but a lot of them unearned. Has only given up 14 earned runs. Six strikeouts, 13 bases on balls, so uh, not the ideal strikeout-to-walk ratio by any stretch. Has three wild pitches on the year, has hit a batter. Has an ERA of 8.04, and he pitched a two-thirds of an inning against Gardner-Webb in a midweek loss on Tuesday. First batter that Acock will face is Parker Goff, who's in a 2-0 count as we come back in. Bottom of the order, Parker Goff hitting with one out and two on. 
Vest is on third. Wilk is on second. Both players singling home runs here in the fifth. First base empty. 2-0 goes to 3-0. First pitch delivered by Acock is a fastball low for ball three. Acock is a right-hander. 6-5. The lanky hurler from right there in Greensboro. The 3-0 to Goff. Walks him on two straight pitches for him, but four straight pitches to Goff. And so Goff is aboard the base on balls for the second time tonight. Parker two for two with two runs, two RBI, and two walks. And now it's Ozzie Pratt. All right, Ozzie, the only BYU player without an RBI tonight has the bases loaded. Ozzie's one for four tonight, but no runs and no RBI. The only Cougar without a run or an RBI. Down and in, ball one to Ozzie. So one out and the sacks stacked. BYU tonight is one for two with the bases loaded. And 10 for 42 on the year with the sack stacked. The 1-0, that's in tight for ball two, down and in. So BYU at uh, 10 for 42. Hitting at a 238 clip with the bases loaded. Two balls, no strikes to Pratt. Three balls, no strikes. That's seven straight balls from Greensboro pitchers. A four-pitch walk of Goff, and now Pratt with a 3-0 count. Now, this could be his RBI. Bases loaded walk here. He gets the RBI and becomes the uh, na- ninth player in the batting order to get an RBI tonight. And the 3-0, yeah, piped in strike. Fastball at 86. The count goes to 3-1. and one. Every other player has RBIs for BYU tonight. Runs or RBIs, I should say. That's fouled out of play down the third baseline into the BYU bullpen. Off the bullpen phone box. So the only players without RBIs tonight are Gamble and Pratt, but Gamble has scored two runs. The 3-2. And that will be a base hit RBI for Ozzie Pratt through the left side. One run will score. They will hold at third. Keep the bases loaded. Ozzie Pratt now two for five. And there's the RBI for Oz here in the fifth. He's the ninth batter here in the fifth inning. And so BYU has batted around. Luke Anderson batting for the second time here in the fifth. RBI single for Ozzie Pratt scoring Cooper Vest from third. Going to third is Jacob Wilk. Going to second is Parker Goff, and on first is Ozzie Pratt with that RBI single. And now every BYU player has either scored a run or driven home a run tonight. One gone, base is still juiced. Anderson, as the Cougars bat around here in the fifth, takes low and away. Luke began the inning with a leadoff double. He scored on the Austin Deming two-run home run, and Austin Deming is on deck. And he's having a mammoth night. Three for four with six RBI. Last night, Cole Gamble had six RBI. By the way, the score is 19-7 to seven now. 19-7. And a base hit. Nope, it'll be grounded to the second baseman playing in a bit of a shift, and it'll be a double play. A 4 6 3 DP. Didn't see the second base behind the umpire there. He was playing right behind the ump and did start the 4 6 3 DP. BYU's out of the fifth, but not before the Cougars score five runs on six hits. There were no errors, and there were three left on. We go two left on, beg your pardon. We go to the bottom or the top of the sixth, 19 19 to 7. BYU leading it. Cougs a 12-run lead here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Baseball. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. PZ Printing pitching change for BYU brought to you by PZ Printing. Nothing inspires like print. The Cougars go to Jake Porter. Porter in for Bryce Robison, who stands to win tonight in a 19-7 ball game. Jake making his 21st appearance, busiest BYU pitcher in terms of appearances, 22 and a third innings, 34 hits, 24 runs, 18 of them earned. Has struck out 13, walked 6. ERA of 7.25. He's 2-5 and five on the year and delivers a ball to Daniel Serta, the top of the order hitter and the leadoff batter here in the 6th. And two straight balls from Jake. Serta, a single and a run scored in the first, a single and was stranded in the second and lined out to Ryan Sapiti. Nice catch made in the 4th. Grounder to Austin Deming, deep in the hole at third. Comes up with it and guns a strike over to Jacob Wilk. What a bullet. And a 5-3 ground out by Serta to lead off the UNC Greensboro sixth. What a wild week it has been 
for run scoring. Utah wins 29 to 14 on Tuesday. BYU wins 14 to 8 last night. So a 43 run game, a 22 run game, and now this one's 19 to 7, a 26 run game. As the Cougs score 19 already, lead 19 to 7. So in the three games, or two and a half this week, we've seen 101 runs scored this week between the two teams. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Highway 101 to home plate. That'll be a line drive, dropping into right field in front of Ryan Sapiti for Kennedy Jones. A one-out single to right. So the 14th hit of the night. And normally you score seven runs and... String together 14 hits. Feel pretty good about your chances. Uh, not tonight. Greensboro, seven runs on 14 hits, but BYU, 19 runs on 21 hits. Cook's a comfortable lead for Jake Porter. One out single to Jones. Zach Budzik will now bat. Budzik with a pop up to second in the first, a line out to short in the third, and a home run, two run home run in the fifth. A foul out of play, 0 oh 1. Greensboro with uh, two home runs on the night. And BYU with five Zions Bank home runs on this evening. Two home runs for Ryan Sapiti, solo shots in the second and third. The 0 1 goes to 1 and 1, down and away. So two home runs for Deming. A two run home run for Luke Anderson. Or rather, two home runs for Sapiti, beg your pardon. Solo home run for Luke Anderson. A two-run home run for Austin Deming. That'll be fouled off home plate and rolling past the catcher one and two. Yeah, both Deming and Sapiti with two home runs apiece. So two each for Deming and Sapiti and a single by Anderson for your five. The one-two meantime to Zach Budzik. That'll be in the dirt. Two and two. So Luke's home run brings him to five on the year. Deming's two bring him to 12. Sapiti's two bring him to nine, and Cole's sitting there at 10. Cole Gamble. Jake Porter, right-hander on the hill, facing the right-handed batting. Zach Budsick, one on and one gone. And a swing through on a check he couldn't hold, through, hold up on. It's strikeout of Budzik. And would that be the first strikeout of the night for BYU pitching? It is. Jake Porter here in the sixth. With BYU's first K of the night. No bases on balls issued, by the way, by BYU. So no free passes on bases on balls. No errors committed tonight. Diminishing the effect and the impact of uh, Greensboro's 14 hits on this night. So two gone, one on. And Dosi Jonas batting. Two home runs in the series, including a solo home run. Part of back-to-back jacks in the fifth. Jonas tonight. An RBI single in the first, a double in scoring in the third, and the solo shot in the fifth. So three for three with two RBI and two runs scored for Jonas. 0-1 to Jonas. And that'll be opposite field off the fist into right. Holding its second will be Kennedy Jones. It's a base hit to right. First and second now, two gone. Jonas, a four for four night and a seven for eight series for Jonas so far. So Jones holding it second. Jonas going to first. Luke Jenkins now, now bats out of the five hole. Left-handed hitting Luke Jenkins. And he's on a two for three night. A double, RBI double in the third. And a single and run scored in the fifth. It was a four run fifth for the Spartans. BYU answered with five in the bottom of the inning. BYU scored in every inning tonight. One in the first. Five in the second. Five in the third. Three in the fourth. Five in the fifth. Four crooked number innings in a 19-run night so far. 1-0 mean time to Jenkins. A swing and a miss, waving an 83-mile-per-hour offering from Porter. The count even at 1-1. One one. Jake Porter, four-pitch mix, fastball slider, curve, and change. That change at 83. Getting us into strike one. 1-1 one one the count. Down and in the dirt for ball two. Jake's fastball, high 80s, low 90s. Slider in the high 70s to low 80s. Change in the same vicinity. And a curveball in the mid-70s. 
Feels like the rain has eased up here. A drizzly cool night at Miller Park. 2-1 the count. Two gone, one on. Make it two on. First and second, and that's called strike. Bottom of the frame, 91 mile per hour fastball from Jake. Paint job on the bottom edge, and the count's even at two and two. BYU leading off with Deming, Gamble, and Sapiti. If they all hit in the sixth, from the top of the sixth, and BYU's up 19 to seven. Luke Jenkins in the box. Left handed bat, and that'll be a grounder to Wilk. He'll handle, step on the bag, and that'll do it for Greensboro here in the sixth for the Spartans. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two left on. We go bottom six. 19-7 Cougs on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more Cougar baseball, let's rejoin Greg Rubel. Deming leads off the BYU bottom of the sixth here and takes ball one in tight from Grant Acock. Fourth pitcher used by Greensboro tonight. BYU 19, Greensboro 7, our score. This game may not go nine innings, and I'll explain why here in a moment as it goes to 2-0 and on Austin Deming. Deming tonight. Three for four, two runs, six RBI. He has two home runs, 11 and 12 on the year. And takes a fastball at 85 down the heart for two and one. The coaches met after the fifth inning, and they determined that if BYU leads by 10 or more through six and a half or seven, the game will be called. Two and two on a swing and miss from Deming. BYU's up 12 right now. So Greensboro would have to score at least three in the top of the seventh or have whatever total they have answered in the bottom of the seventh by BYU to make a 10-run game for it to end. For it to not end, that is, through six and a half. Foul ball into the bleachers down the first baseline. Two and two the count. So if the Cougars have a 10-run lead or more through six and a half, the game will end. Or through seven, should BYU bat in the bottom of the seventh and extend back to a 10-run lead. It is BYU by 12 right now. 19 to 7. 19 runs on 21 hits, both season highs for BYU. And that'll be a ball, 3-2, and two, the count full to Austin Deming. Deming with his solo home run in the first inning, extending his current hit streak to 11 games. And he'll ground that foul down the third baseline. So by going 3-4 for four tonight, Deming is 6-8 for eight in the series with five runs. 8 RBI. 3-2 the count. No one out. And no one on. Oh, change up. And or breaker there for Austin Deming. He swings under it. It's out number one. So Deming down on strikes. And it's only the... That's the first time tonight the lead batter's not gone on base for BYU. In the first five innings, the first batter reached, and the Cougs have scored in all five innings. Cole Gamble batting now and taking strike one. And base hit to center, to right center for Cole. Center fielder cuts it off, and Cole pushing for two, and will slide in ahead of the throw. Heads up double for Cole Gamble. And Cole Gamble with his second hit of the night. He's two for four on the night with two runs scored. So double for Cole. He's at second for Ryan Sapiti. Sapiti on a three for four night with a couple of home runs and a base hit. Single to in the fifth. Scored a run off it as well. So Sapiti tonight three for four with three runs and two RBI. Sapiti with Gamble on second. BYU up 19 to seven. Breaking ball settles in for strike one. Nice pitch from Acock. Sapiti hitting 326 on the year. 195, though. The number dips with runners in scoring position. He has one in Gamble at second base. Gamble, a one-out stand-up, a run-up slid, a sliding double for Cole here in the sixth. It's off the handle, grounded to the third baseman. He'll collect and fire to first. Gamble holds that second. Two gone now in the sixth. Will this be the first scoreless inning for BYU? The Cougs have scored one, five, five, three, and five in the first five innings. They have two out and no one across here in the sixth. That was a 5 3 ground out for Sapiti. Cooper Vest on a four for four night. Three singles and a double. Two runs, two RBI. Three runs and two RBI. Beg your pardon. He did score on the Ozzie Pratt single in the last inning for his third run of the night. 
So Coop batting with two out and Gamble on second. 19-7, BYU leading it. That's in around the knees, ball one. Again, coaches agreeing after five innings that if BYU leads by 10 or more through six and a half or seven, the game will be called. So this could be an early night. Breaker high and away, ball two. This game is two hours and 10 minutes old. As we're in the bottom of the sixth, we've seen 26 runs and 37 hits. The weather's cold. The bats are hot tonight. The 2-0. And that'll be a chopper to short. Waiting for it is Budzik. And reaching his vest. What happened to that? No throw. Just didn't throw it. So came up with it on the slow chopper and didn't think he'd have time. And so it'll go as an infield single for Cooper Vest. And Coop's on a 5-for-5 five five night tonight. Going to third is Gamble. So runners on the corners now for Jacob Wilk. Two gone, two on. And Jacob tonight is 3-for-4. 6-for-9 in the series. Cooper Vest, meantime, a 4-for-4 four four night. Single, double, make it a five for five night. Single, double, and then three consecutive singles for Coop. He goes five for five. Vest, who is five for five, followed by Wilk, who's three for four. Oh, one to Jacob, goes to one and one. Cooper Vest, five for five, three runs, two RBI, but you can pick any number of guys who are lighting it up tonight. The one, one to Jacob. Chopper to third. Short hop bobbled, and a, now he will be thrown out. Jacob hobbling to first. Came up a little lame. So slow run by, by, by Wilk to first, and he's hobbling it off. He's a little dinged right now. He is thrown out, and the Kooks do not score a run. So Jacob is on the 5-3 ground out, and had he been feeling good, might have legged that out, but he pulled up a little lame. A run might have scored on that, and Wilk might have reached on that slow roller, but... He was a slow runner up the first baseline. No runs for BYU. No runs on two hits. There were no errors, and two were left down. We go to the top of the seventh, 19-7, BYU leading it. If the uh, Spartans don't score at least three, this game will end in a half inning. We'll come back on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.